Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Rose Byrne and Seth Rogen on the comedy of midlife meltdowns and platonic friendships. Apple TV's new comedy platonic stars Rose Byrne and Seth Rogen as Sylvia and Will, two friends who rekindle a broken friendship, only to find solace in each other's chaos, as they head to the Middle Ages, are coming. Co created by husband and wife team Nicholas Stoller and Francis Delbanco. The series will premiere on streamer Wednesday, May 24. Luke McFarlane, Carla Gallo, Alicia Wainwright, Tree Hale, Andrew Lopez, Emily Kimball, Janet Varney and Guy Rounding Out Branham, are the supporting cast, all of whom are influenced in one way or another by Sylvia and Will's friendship. Rather than settling on the commonly used phrase, Will She Want He, the series uses natural chemistry and friendship of their stars along with themes inspired by the lives of Stoller and Dilbanko, to bring to life a surprisingly thought-provoking, candid, and downright hilarious take on modern-day friendships, and the all-too-real threat of the midlife crisis, something that we will all grapple with at one point or another. Seth Rogen, when we meet Will, he has made a lot of mistakes and is about to make more. He has alienated a lot of people close to him, and just makes a lot of bad decisions. I think through Sylvia, he can reconnect to a time when he might have liked himself more. He sees her as someone who is very accepting of his ways, and, in a way, aspires to them. But I also think that she is someone who is very honest with him, and he needs that. They re-having a kind of reverse midlife crisis. I refuse to grow up, and she may wish she hadn't he grown up so fast. Each of them is, to some extent, looking for a sense of the other person's life. Rose Byrne, they had a really intense friendship and a really intense bond, and that broadly developed because the friendship was so big dot and now they re somehow reunited, wondering, what is going to happen in this new chapter in this new context? It is sweet. You never really get to see this exploration of a friendship between a man and a woman.